Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What is going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you are interested in a personal reading, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. Okay, so Capricorn, it feels like something had stopped moving. Something was moving slowly, but now it's like it's just stopped moving. It, it's like the bike here is is parked. We've we've I'm hearing detour. <laughs> we took a detour. There is some, but I feel like it's working for you. Something that didn't. Uh, move forward ends up working out for you because we have abundance so be open to receive at blessings and abundance from the universe um, hobbies this may come from some sort of hobby that you do something new that you're working on something new that you're building and it may even require travel okay Yeah, like financially, I feel like something didn't work out or you felt like things were moving way too slowly or some sort of increase was moving too slowly and you decided to uh, kind of do your own thing on the side or just your own thing in general. Yeah, the fool is like you taking a leap of faith because why not? Why not take a risk on yourself? Um, you've thought everything out. You've evaluated everything, you've taken everything into account, all the receipts, all the facts, and something is now uh, like ending. I see a door closing here. Some of you, you had to be very direct with someone and let them know that you just don't want to continue on this path anymore. And now you're showing up as a queen of pentacles. Showing up as um, Sable. I'm seeing herbs. Some of you may be doing something with herbs. Painting, dancing. I'm seeing jewelry. Someone creating jewelry. Nails. Eyelashes. Like, we got some entrepreneurs in here. <laughs> Capricorn, we got some entrepreneurs. I feel like you're focused more on your hobbies right now. Hobbies are a great way to distract you from worries and troubles. It says create a roadmap and turn your hobby into a side hustle. Yes. King and Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing you kind of Turning a, a hobby into a side hustle, doing things on the side, staying committed, staying focused on it. I'm also getting another message though where some of you possibly are going through a separation or maybe a divorce. Or if you're not married, you just maybe something has kind of ended here and painfully or inevitably it's ended and you're taking now the time to focus more on on what you love to do. It, it's kind of bringing you back towards yourself, towards your purpose here in life. I feel like somebody maybe wasn't giving enough. 
Yeah, because you're showing up as a queen and the king of pentacles. Like, you give a lot or you have a lot to give. And whoever was around you, they're showing up as a page. And they, they weren't giving enough. Like, they kept showing up as the same energy. Maybe this is like a boss that just hasn't been uh, paying you enough. And you do a lot of work and effort. And you're at this place where you're like, yeah, um, I know my worth. So, either... Either you can compensate me or I'm going to, I'm just going to let this go. But I feel like you gave it a lot of time though. Whatever the situation is, you gave it a lot of time or you gave someone a lot of time. But you're at this point now where it's like you just can't keep waiting. Okay, so um, if there is someone on your mind, think of them. Let's take a look at their energy, see what it's saying. You could be dealing with a, I was about to say Pisces, Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but I'm also seeing Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. Okay. I'm seeing someone as wanting to move towards you or travel towards you. It says there's a strong desire to wander or travel and explore the world. It's time you do expect travel soon or this is somebody who travels a lot okay oh my goodness so there this someone is feeling blocked right now maybe you literally blocked this person or if someone is feeling like they're unable to put in the an offer or communicate something to you or take action or travel towards you right now why hmm seven of cups and the ace of pentacles something hasn't gotten off ground because either there's other people involved there's other offers So what are their intentions and actions then? No. I'm really getting this is some, this. I'm really getting that. This person is just like. Not. Making any moves. I'm just picking up on. A lot of procrastinating, a lot of just indecisiveness. They're unclear. They don't know what they want. They're confused. Like, oh my gosh. Like, the list goes on. And they're seeing you as the Five of Pentacles. So they're maybe seeing you as feeling left out ignored by them even or left out in the cold or you may have ignored this person it's like there's a desire to okay they're hermit so some of you maybe you ghosted them or you just their actions had led you to making the choice to take time for yourself to distance yourself to find your own your own calling your own purpose because as much as I see like a desire to travel or make a move, I just see them unable to do that or not doing that um, at this moment, right? So Hangman is you pretty much allowing the situation to be what it is, accepting what it is and, and starting something new, taking this time to focus on your calling, your purpose, your hobbies, things that you love to do. I'm hearing inner child healing. So connecting to your inner child, doing things that maybe you used to do as a child in your childhood, like playing video games, going out for bike rides, um, playing basketball. Like I just see you as connecting to your inner child more and allowing the situation to be letting it go for the moment the hangman is like not really taking this any anywhere right now 
Oh, man. Hmm. But you're being led to... Oh, my gosh. You know what is crazy? Because you may actually end up reconnecting with someone else. And actually end up being in a relationship with them. Giving it a chance. I'm seeing true love. So you have true love coming in. It says that it's safe for you to love and open up your heart again and create an emotional flow. But don't kill yourself trying to fix what's beyond repair. Something is being made differently or you're doing things differently now. But as for this situation, I see you kind of just like allowing it to be. And that you may actually end up unexpectedly uh, finding true love. Something about this is going to be very pampering. Or you may find yourself pampering yourself more. Don't feel rushed to make a decision right now. Spend time alone meditating upon what truly makes you happy. Yeah, I see you as in like no rush to make any serious decisions right now or take anything to that next step. You're just uh, okay with where things are at the moment and you unexpectedly end up being led to true love. Okay. Okay, I didn't expect this to turn into a love reading after, but I'm seeing the number is one. So you may be seeing one, 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 eleven, eleven. I'm also picking up on 17. I'm seeing the letters A, T, H, B, L. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.